Hey there, it's Dr. Kimisa. Welcome back to our video series. If you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, like us, share us with your friends. Today, yeah, we're having a little bit of coffee today, but uh, today we're going to be talking about this. This is called the focus unit, and the focus unit is our home uh, brain training system. So I've got lots to share on this. It's very exciting, very powerful. So stay tuned, I got lots to share. Welcome back, this is Dr. Kamisa, and today we're talking about the focus unit, or maybe this might be the six o'clock uh, weather report. It could be sunny, it might be cloudy, could snow, could rain, so we'll tell you tomorrow how we did. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Anyways, uh, today's topic is on the focus unit, and I'm going to go through... Uh, I crack myself up sometimes. I'm going to go through uh, some of the different symptoms that this can help with for home training. And then today's topic is really is going to be on sleep, insomnia, getting to sleep, getting better sleep. So, and everybody knows that when you don't sleep well, you don't feel good. You feel like crap, right? You wake up and you're like, oh gosh, I just need a couple more hours or... You know, you, you just, you got pedal to the metal and you're just going all the time. And so we all know that sleep is critical, but how do we get a better night's sleep? So I'm going to cover some things we can do before we go to sleep, how to prepare your brain for sleep. And, um, and then we're going to talk about the focus unit for sleep. So stay tuned. So when we're talking about the focus unit and some of the symptoms that it can help with in training that you can do at home, that's why this is such a powerful little tool, is anything from ADD to ADHD, these are going to be alphabetical, but not all of them. These are just the major ones. So ADD, ADHD, um, anger, anxiety, autism, chronic fatigue. Oh, I just don't have enough energy. <laughs> chronic fatigue, uh, chronic pain, dementia, depression, fibromyalgia, insomnia, which we're going to be talking about today, memory, OCD, and tension headaches. So it's a long list, but this is a very complex piece of neurofeedback training device that will address all those different symptoms. So now I'm going to talk about, okay, how do we prepare ourselves how do we take the time before we go to bed to give our brain a chance to actually get a good night's sleep so we can feel like humans when we wake up in the morning and feel refreshed? When was the last time you felt refreshed when you woke up in the morning? Mm, get out the date book on that one. All right, so hang on. All righty. So if we're trying to prepare for a good night's sleep, well, we definitely don't want to have coffee before we go to bed. That's the first thing. And one of the questions that we ask, I ask all the time when patients come in is, regardless of what they're coming in for, low back or neck pain, and on our symptom chart that we have, we, there's a, a trouble and there's a question about trouble sleeping. And a lot of times it's just no, no, no trouble sleeping. So even if they say no, I ask these two questions. I said, I'll say to them, I know you didn't mark it, but I'm going to ask you, do you have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep? And usually, I'm going to say nine times out of ten, I get one or both of those that are the issues. And then the third question is, do you feel refreshed when you wake up in the morning? And that's the kicker. 
oh, I have, I sleep for 10 hours, I sleep for eight hours, I sleep for whatever in the length of time that you're sleeping for. And when they're sleeping, I said, you know, do you feel refreshed when we wake up in the morning? Oh, hell no. I haven't felt refreshed. And it's funny if you ask that to a mother that has kids and as old as the oldest kid is, they'll say, well, my kid's 18 years old. I haven't felt refreshed in 18 years. So um, uh, to all the mothers out there, you need to try and get some extra sleep um, um, when you can. Anyways, so let's get back to how do you prepare yourself for, um, for a good night's sleep? So the first thing is, let's just use a time frame of 10 o'clock. You go to bed usually around 10. So what are you going to do before 10 o'clock? Are you going to watch some kind of crazy TV show that's going to get you all hyped up? Like, uh, you know, Rocky or how about the news? Uh, no, you don't want to do that. You want to give yourself some quiet time. One of the things that uh, happens is that when you wake up in the middle of the night and you've got all these thoughts going on, is because you haven't given your brain a chance to process and reflect on the day of all of those thoughts that you have during the day. And the only quiet time you have is, guess what? When you're sleeping. So yeah, your brain's gonna wanna say, hey, what do you think about this idea? What do you think about this idea? How about if we just clear the slate before you go to bed? Then that way there you can actually dream. How about that? How about that for a novel idea? How about doing some dreaming? So, a couple of things. Two hours before bedtime, you want to start to shut it down. That means no TV. That means taking some time for yourself. Let me say that one again. That means taking time for yourself. We haven't done that for a long time, have we? Right? So... That means putting this thing away, putting away the phone, turning off the TV, maybe sitting by the fireplace quiet, maybe reading a book, maybe listening to some classical music or something that is starting to get the brain to wind down. And so these are things you can help yourself with immediately. But I, I, I'm going to say that most people today are so overstimulated. They get bombarded. They're working from home. They're working harder than they ever have ha, than they ever have because there's no commute time anymore. It's just down the stairs, grab a coffee on the computer, and you're ready to rock and roll. And you're putting in 10, 12 hours a day, and you don't even think about that. And so you're so amped up that a nighttime comes, and you're just trying, and you're just trying to get some kind of you know, entertainment, and yet you go to bed and you toss and turn or you wake up and you're fatigued and then you hit replay. And you wonder why you end up getting sick. Well, you end up why you just, why you feel like garbage. You know, why you just don't have the energy to do things. Why you get moody and why you get more emotional and why your body's breaking down. The only time that your body repairs itself is when you sleep. That's the only time. So here we are, we're gonna be going into spring and summer, which in Chicagoland is construction season, right? That's so, here's what it's like. You're on the highway, you're coming home late at night, and you see all the cones, all the traffic, and it goes down from four lanes down to one lane, and you see all this stuff on the side of the road, all the construction vehicles, and there's nobody working. You're like, where is everybody? That's what happens when you're restless, when you don't get restored to sleep, nothing gets done. Nothing gets done. So we want to give our body a chance to heal and recover so we can feel refreshed and go start the day off with a fighting chance. So I'm going to put my coffee to the side here. And when we look at the focus unit, it actually has uh, three programs on it. It has uh, sleep one, sleep two, and sleep three. And what this unit does is we use photic technology. Now I did another video, I'm gonna put a link below on that video, uh, to the video down below, on how the glasses actually work. And that's a pretty detailed video on how, those, how the, the brain processes 
the uh, light that comes from these units. And so I'm just going to turn this on and you're going to see that if you can see this on the, I'm going to turn them up a little bit, but you can see here that uh, if I turn them down, you can see it's a little bit less and you can see the blinkingness on the, on the glasses here. And so what happens, each program that we have on here, and there's many, many, many different programs. Uh, this kind of looks kind of cool. <laughs> Anyways, especially with the blue. Um, but uh, uh, there's many programs on here, but the three sleep programs, the first sleep is really like a power nap. So let's say you have 20 minutes during the daytime. You can go to sleep one, and it's basically going to take you down into the delta waves, and then it's going to bring you back up. It's a great little power nap. And so you can play, obviously it has tones that come through here, so we can play with the tones, but also with your phone, using a three and a half millimeter jack, you can take your phone, plug uh, the three and a half millimeter jack in, into the unit itself, so you can have your, your phone, the headset, and the glasses, and then you can pick different songs or different material from your phone to play going through the unit here that are designed to help you sleep. And so I use a, a website called I Awake Technologies. I'm gonna put a link of that down below to a couple tracks uh, that will help you sleep and these are, they're not music tracks, these are brain entrainment tracks. They're scientifically uh, designed tracks. Yes, you might hear water, you might hear different tones in nature and things like that, but there's actually frequencies that are helping your brain achieve what we want to do. And so sleep one is like a power nap. Sleep two is helping, is called, it's like a technical knockout, basically where it's just going to, it's a 45 minute program and you're going to do this uh, before you go to bed. So you can, let's say for example that you're, you want to read or you've got some music on in your quiet room and you're just kind of winding down. This is a perfect time to use this. It's a perfect time to use this. The blue glasses are going to help calm your body down, stimulate your parasympathetic and help your healing of your body. And um, so there's two other modes. There's a sleep two and a sleep three. And they're both designed to help you get to sleep and stay asleep. And this could be used, I mean, I travel, I never travel without this. I always have it with me. Uh, because they're so, it's so valuable to have and knowing what your brain needs. So remember, we're talking about three things, right? The triangle, like body, mind, and spirit, right? So obviously behind me, lots of equipment. We're focused on the body here. But if our mind isn't right, and let's go back to the, the basic principle of energy flow, right? The brain controls every cell in our body. It does so by sending that energy down the spinal cord. So that spinal cord is like this river carrying this life force energy down the spinal cord through the nerves to all the tissues and organs in our body. So every organ and tissue is totally dependent on that energy. And when I say energy, it's actually electrical impulses. So those organs are waiting for electrical energy, electrical impulses of energy, right? So you want the brain to produce correct amounts of energy. It needs to be fully charged. It's kind of like if you have your phone, if you have your phone uh, plugged in, uh, you know, to the charger, but it, the charger's not all the way in, then you go to pick up your phone, it's like, oh, battery low. How's that possible? It's been charging all night. Yeah, but it wasn't really charging. That's what happens to our brain, right? So we want to make sure that our brain has full power supply 
so that it can start the recovery process, start the reparative process, start the regeneration process, so that when we get up in the morning, we feel refreshed, right? Body, mind, and spirit. How do you have a better body? How do you have a better spirit if your mind is just spinning its wheels, right? And so, so many people are so focused on their body. They go to the gym. I work out six days a week. I'm in the gym. I look fantastic on the beach or whatever the situation is. And they don't have enough energy to do and live life properly. They're just spinning their wheels. So sleep is such a powerful, powerful tool. Just think of what babies do. They eat, poop, and sleep. Well, we need to work, so we got to throw work in there now, right? So, um, but yeah, it's eat, poop, and sleep, and work in there and have a social life. So that sleep process is critically important. And so the, the Clear Mind Focus Unit is just one of the another tools that we can use to help patients achieve a better night's sleep because empowering someone to live their best day every day, right? It's body, mind, and spirit. And we need all those three facets in order to be empowered to live our best day every day. So as we continue our pursuit to find better things out there in the marketplace that, that are helping us, helping me uh, be stronger and healthier on the inside so we can impact more people, I want you to have a great day as we empower you to live your best day every day. Have a fantastic day. God bless you and stay tuned for more next time.